Welcome to my channel. So another um, how to video. Again, this is um, one of the exercises that I had in this web development course um, that I bought in uh, in Udemy from Cold Steel. So in this lesson, we are go I am going to share with you and show you how um, to code using HTML and style in CSS this tic-tac-toe board. So without further ado, let's get started. So again, open your text editor and let's uh, save this one. Let's give it a name. Um, I'm going to name this as my board exercise dot HTML. All right. So again, HTML, just type HTML, then tab or indent, and voila, it's uh, the, you, you're able to pull up this HTML skeleton. So the first thing is title. So our title as our reference, in our reference, it has a title of my tic-tac-toe board or TTT board. So my... Okay, let's save and um, check if we're doing fine. So this one, open with Chrome. Okay, so here you go. We have now um, the same title as our reference. Next is, let's work on our H1. So let's go to the body h1 tick tap two okay let's save and then check let's reload okay there you go so um as you can see it's not centered so we have to center our h1 so to do that um we have to uh, make a style we have to style rather our h1 so to do that we can actually style um, um style this in inside of our um, html file so in this file we can start uh, we can um, code css or style our html so to do that um go to the body part i mean to the head and then under the title um you select your selector, so in this case, it's it's H1. And then, choose um, choose a property. So in this case, it's text align. Center. Save, and then double check. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was not able to pull up the selector. So what you're going to do is type select. Type select and then indent. Press indent or tab. I'm sorry, it's style. I'm sorry, it's style. It's not select, it's style. So we have the style. Um, we can style our HTML HTML inside our HTML um, file. So again, it's style, it's not select. So style, select your selector. In this case, it's H1. And then text align. Center. Save. And then reload to check. There you go. So the same. And then let's work on our table. This is um, actually a table with, um, with, with uh, we style this in CSS. So we have border right, left, bottom, top. So this is a table consists of three rows. And in each row, we have um, three table datas or cell. So you have one, two, three. So, okay, let's work on that one. So go back to the body under H1. 
table inside it inside the table again we have three rows so let's copy and paste okay we have now three rows and in each row there are three table data copy and paste let's do that to the second row um, paste and down to the last row okay so now we have um, our table um, let's save this and reload so obviously it's not showing anything because we haven't styled we haven't uh, put or define a definition or give we haven't given any definition I mean any dimension to this table so what we're going to do is we we have to style our table so I'm not gonna pretend that I don't know what's the size of each of the cell or the table data so of course I know so what we're going to do is start um, defining or giving the uh, start give giving dimension to our to our table so the size of this is 100 pixels um, it, width and height so let's select TD this is 100 pixels height is 100 pixels okay so even if we have um, we have defined or we have given some dimensions of course it's not it's it's still not gonna show anything because we haven't defined the borders of each cell in each rows so what we're going to do next is um, we're going to okay let's let's um, examine this bit by bit so in the first row as you can see um, in the second table data this is consist of vertical border vertical so you have um, left and right and then on the second row second row first table data this is consist of the border bottom and top and on the second row second table data this is consist of um, four borders the top right bottom left so on so forth so let's start working on our first um, row so what we're going to do is um, assign a class for this one so in our first row sec second um, table data in here since this is this is um, obviously we, we can see that it's a vertical border left and right what we're going to do is assign a class so first row second assign a class value vertical okay so in order for us to see um, the outcome of this let's style this vertical class vertical this is your selector and then assign a property for the um, right so let's use one pixel you can use two or whatever solid and block oops and then let's assign border left again the same one px solid and black I misspelled that one I have misspelled this save and then reload let's double check okay so we're now seeing um, the first row of our um, of our table so obviously this table isn't centered yet so we have to center this one just like our reference so what we're going to do is again we style that select your selector in this case table marge assign a property auto save 
reload now it's centered so let's work on the second row so in the second row again second row first table data this is consists of um, border top and bottom so we're gonna assign a class for this one and let's let's give it a value of horizontal so again um, second row first table data assign a class and give it a value of horizontal okay and then what we're going to do is style this in CSS so style the class horizontal um, border top border top one pixels block and then border bottom again one px solid black save double check then there you go okay let's work on the second um, table data so this is a bit tricky because this is consists of two classes the horizontal and the vertical so we have four borders for this one obviously so it's easy what we're going to do is just assign two classes for that um, for the second table data for the second in the second um, uh, row so what we're going to do to assign two classes is horizontal space vertical and check this out there you go okay so let's move on to the third one um, obviously that's just horizontal and then um, let's work on the last one so that's the same with the first one actually it's just vertical with the first row let's save and then check reload oh. there you have it so we have now our table but as you can see in our reference as you hover over the title or the h1 and then each table data it turns into yellow so what we're going to do is um, style this again so in h1 h1 hover um, color let's 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 pick a red okay as you can see it turns red when you hover over and then let's move to our uh, to our table so what we're going to do is select um, the table data and then hover uh, border since when you select the um, each cell or each table data um, it's going it, it it's uh, it, it turns into yellow like you see it has four borders when you click this first one it has four bo four borders the second one third so on and so forth so we assign a property of border and we give value value solid let's give it a red save reload there you go so completely the same right so ho i hope you have um, learned something in this um, video so if you find this beneficial if 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 this video helped you in some ways please like and subscribe and till my next video bye